now give the floor to our second panelist. I made a mistake at the beginning. Um, it's just a different order. So our second panelist will be Dr. Monica Mosca from the University of East Piedmont in Italy, in Vercelli. The topic of her presentation is linguistic integration of immigrants in Italy. So again, sort of really almost a follow-on, not necessarily from the media point of view, media representation point of view, but sort of factual. <laughs> Um, Hello everybody, it's a pleasure for me to carry out this presentation and today I will be focusing on new trend of social linguistic uh, integration in Italy. In this talk the usage uh, of Italian and especially uh, Italian dialects by immigrant people living in Italy will be discussed. In the complex uh, linguistic situation where Italian national language coexists with a number of uh, regional varieties and local dialects, language input for immigrant people is particularly rich. Um, the hypothesis presented here is that learning Italian uh, local dialects is perceived as a sort of uh, linguistic added value in terms of integration in the new community. Uh, provoking a positive uh, environment. The theoretical approach adopted here uh, will be the one of social linguistic of migration. I will first highlight some key points of uh, this research, social linguistic variables, and I will then move to discuss the unexpected choice of the use of diet made by a number of non-European subjects who came from Africa. Um, during uh, uh, the process of linguistic and cultural integration. And I will present two groups of subjects and discuss their characteristics and some examples. Um, first set of issues concern the circumstance uh, of the language use. Location, domain of usage, social class and so on. According to Cosario, uh, these are all variables. The topic, the strategic, the amazing, the phasic must be considered also uh, other variables, uh, number of speakers, other languages spoken by the user, motivation, ambition, politeness, and so on. Um, studies on interlanguage pragmatics investigate the way speakers attain communicational effectiveness by selecting and combining in different ways the resources made available by their linguistic competence. This instrument altogether form the linguistic space uh, within which speakers choose the most appropriate linguistic variety to the social context. From the linguistic point of view, it is difficult to sketch in short a general picture of such delicate balance between the need for a national standard and the pressure of local uh, culture and languages. Among the other European countries, Italy has the highest ratio of number of dialects compared with uh, its extension. Thus, Italy is a plurilingual and uh, its linguistic repertory can be described according to Berruto as a situation of dilaria. Um, uh, and then an endogenous bilingualism, a situation characterized by coexistence and alternation of uh, different linguistic code. Uh, where code A, for example, Italian, and code B, dialect, stand in a situation of uh, linguistic uh, contact, producing interference and code switching and code mixing. Um, in the Italian situation, the dialect as related to the national language is to be understood as an autonomous linguistic system with uh, structural character and history different from that of the national language, Italian. Um, according to Berruto, the space of Italian varieties is ranged along three dimensions as a continuum. The samples that I have collected from different subjects are situated in this area, highlighted by the circle. Uh, start from the center circle, where all three dimensions cross, it represents a standard variety 
uh, number one is the Italian of, uh, for example, uh, newspaper media, and number two is the new standard variety that people speak. Uh, the other secret that five varieties represented in the standard spoken in Italian. Um, and uh, this is a sort of colloquial spoken in the blue circle. And uh, the red one is uh, uh, a regional Italian low level register. In the high left uh, corner, the orange one represents the scientific Italian. And the green one is the higher register, poetic, for example. According to Gampert, the use of a linguistic variety is not only a tool for communication, but also a signal of membership in a specific group, the evidence for a social or ethnic identity. A contextualization cue is any feature of linguistic form that contributes to signaling of contextual presupposition. And uh, uh, using a given linguistic variety is equivalent to communicating together with the propositional content of an utterance, also the membership in the linguistic community that regularly use this variety. So I move now to corpora, informants, and linguistic data. I have two groups. The first group uh, um, are represented by Pitchman are people that come from Maghreb and Senegal. Uh, the age is uh, represented as uh, 38 and uh, 65 e years. The educational uh, uh, level is low, but not always. Um, in Italian, they have a level of B1 or B2. And uh, uh, they have a positive inclination toward dialects. Uh, the corpora is uh, our interview and spontaneous conversa conversation. And now we move to um, the motivation. We have interrogative motivation. For example, uh, a subject asked whether speaking Jela, that is in Sicily. Dialect is a better, um, I speak in Italian and you can. Uh, read in English. <laughs> no, non è che vendo di più. Apprendo un'occasione di parlare un dialetto italiano. Or, instrumental motivation. Um, I try to speak with uh, Sicilian. Con dialetto meglio mi trovo. Ho fatto 18 anni, capito? Lavorare con chi stu? Lavoro. Allora, loro non parlano dialetto siciliano. Io pure ho imparato il dialetto siciliano. Sì. Okay, the translation, you know what in this word. So, when they speak a Sicilian dialect, I learn Sicilian dialect too. Um, mm, the language can be, can be a cue of affiliation to a social group with uh, uh, which the speaker identifies himself. Uh, this last motivation is similar to the integrative motivation as it is also based on the need to participate in the social life of uh, some group. Uh, however, this kind of motivation implies integrity. This is the case of uh, Sab, a uh, subject uh, born in Senegal, that uh, lives in the north of Italy, in, in Piedmont region. And uh, it's uh, interesting that uh, uh, he teaches his son dialect words beside Italian and Wolf, as shown in his declaration. I have the tendency to tell, to tell my son, come. Uh, Wolf Kai, Italian Vieni, Piedmont, Piedmont var Variety, Benki. Or we have also example of code switching and code mixing by immigrants. So, uh, code switching topicalized sentences, for example, uh, in uh, Piedmont dialects, uh, Collana, Specianè, e Lungo Culli or occurrence of switching between Italian and Sicilian dialect. Signore, guardate, tapana, tapana. Lady look the side, the side, the side. Or switching plus code mixing. Uh, for example, in the longer narrative of the sentimental phase, um, Tunisian man says, uh, 
Sì, sposato, lei ha mughieri. Io prima stato con una che si chiama Maria, de Palma de Montichiari. Allora questa palmesa ha trovato bene con me. Solo che Idda, senti a chi sta senta all'altro, senti a chi sta senta all'altro, allora mi ha lasciato e se ne è sposata con uno, ciù peggio, ciù peggio di mia. The blue words are uh, words from dialect. And you can see the translation. Yes, Mary, I have a wife before. I was with one named Maria from Palma de Monticchiari. So this woman from Palma felt well with me, but she listened to one, listened to the other, listened to one, listened to the other. <laughs> she left me and she married one man much worse, much worse than me. <laughs> Um, we have also uh, a case of Aie that came from Senegal and live uh, always in uh, Vercelli. Um, and uh, Aie exhibit a high competence in dialects. Mm? He feel more inclined to a dialect of uh, a Lombardy region, not Piedmont region, than that of Piedmont, but he speaks very well. Mm? So in uh, this dialogue, uh, he used uh, the Lombard negation no uh, instead of uh, nen. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a dialogue uh, in uh, dialects of Vercelli. Vari venu su chi? Vari venu? How much is it? How much? Cuschi, 5 euro. E nauta differente te nen. Don't you have a different one? Anelli, tal pias no. And this is uh, the uh, negation of Lombardy region, and this is one, the Piedmont region. Hey, you know, sir, uh, ah, hey, no, ja, you know, già da reclam, Saroba d'incenso, masciuca senza bede. It's more different from Italian. <laughs> um, I already had that stuff. These paintings, incense, make me drunk without drinking. E cuschi? Love. And this? As it sent his word d'incenso, she Right. As by sense. Manchuka since a baby that is uh, make me drunk without drink, she said, and so on. Okay. <coughs> now it was uh, second group. Second group are migrant writers. They write in Italian and dialects, some of them, because they felt the strong urge to communicate, to justify about all their existence in Italian society. Writing, uh, these are opinion. Uh, writing in Italian meant op opening a window on the custom and tradition of the land. It's the language of everyday life. It is the language of integration. It's the language of where I live and breathe. It's the language that we love because of the sound uh, and the melody. These are motivation. So, the first subject is Cossi. Uh, came to Italy from Togo. Uh, he completed medical study in Bologna and moved uh, with his wife, uh, who is a native Italian, and uh, they two children to Como, where he practiced medicine at the Ospedale Fate Bene Fratelli. Uh, he's very involved uh, politically with issues affecting migrants and uh, come and Cossi became the first African-Italian to run for parliament. Uh, linguistic competence is Ewe, France, English, Italian, and the dialects of Brianza and Milan. So, um, embarazzismi is a sort of embarrassment plus racism. Mm -hmm. It's a new word. Uh, these volumes, that uh, Cossi uh, wrote, um, tell, tells in a comic key or with humor the daily embarrassing collision between native Italians and the African immigrants as uh, uh, both attempt to negotiate the new multi ethnic terrain of contemporary Italian culture. These stories, which are both personal experience and uh, those of friends aim mainly uh, at unveiling the notion of stereotypes. Um, so, for the author, uh, stereotypical uh, misconception 
are deeply embedded in a language. Uh, and uh, his text display a constant, a constant theme hmm, of the limits of language, or rather how people language and the inability to use language perpetuates uh, racism. So. Um, this, is, uh, uh, this, this story is an example Linguistic simplification with infinity form, mental model projection. So, the story takes place in a horse manner, and the dialogue is between three people the owner, Italian, his brother, and Cosi. Cosi looks for a season war, and the dialogue is uh, Tu venire Brasile, instead of Tu vieni dal Brasile, the Italian form. You come Brazil. I come from Africa. Uh, tu conoscere cavalli, infinitive form, instead of tu ne sai qualcosa di cavalli, uh, you know horses? No, this is my first experience, but I was always fascinated by horses. And so on. And then, uh, tu dare mangiare due volte al giorno ai cavalli, instead of devi dare da mangiare due volte al giorno ai cavalli. You give food twice a day, horse and the brother says, "Why you speak like America in Indians in the movie? <laughs> it's strange because uh, um, there is a manifestation where the absurdity of Italian immediate assumption that any person of color can speak Italian and dialects." Other situation. Uh, the sequence shows code mixing between Italian and some word of a Lombard variety, north of Milan. Ca is the dialect word for home, casa. And the scene happens on the bus. The dialogue is started when a migrant lady accidentally stamped on the foot of a mister on the bus, uh, whom uh, Cosi, Cosi called uh, ironically in, di in dialect, sure, gentlemen. Yes, sure. Uh, before the apologize of the ladies, these gentlemen say, um, here, shitty Moroccan, go back to your home with uh, code switching in dialects. Go back to your home. Calmly, she replied, I would like to go back to my home with code mixing. But tell me why you or some of your relation, instead of staying in Italy at your home, Tatua, you came down to Africa to pollinate my mother <laughs> and her home. Hmm? So another example. Uh, I like this example. Um, in hospital, the doctors make their daily visit tour. The top uh, clinician explained the diagnosis to an old lady. Hmm? Uh, to an old lady, using the medical language, hmm? scientific Italian. Uh, in all its complexity and the, techni and the technical words, hmm? it's a problem of he distortion hmm, with probably damage to the ligaments. At the end of the visit, Cossi, that is uh, a doctor, has a doubt and does in Lombard dialects here. So, Granny, Nonna, Nonna, I read bef before in, Ita in uh, Lombard. Nonna, la capi quel che la dita du tu? Mi non capi proprio in agot. Shura, grandis mercel per le succedu, se la strambalo ginege. Granny, did you understand um, what the doctor said? I didn't understand a word. Men of a pit crop in a goat. Shura, grandis mercel per le succedu, se la strambalo ginege. Madam, he said, what happened? Yukni is twisted. 
So this is not only linguistic competence, but also discourse competence, cultural sensitivity, mm -hmm. understanding of the context and polite behavior. So, um, another subject is shake. Sheikh is born in Senegal, he married with an Italian woman, and he lived in Milan, and is a sophisticated poet and writes in Italian and French, bilingual. He uses only dialect when he speak as a closing discourse market. Here are just an example of the bilingualism. It's more uh, aulic. We say Italian, aulic Italian. I don't know if uh, there is an English aulic, but it's more I. Court, court. Court. Yeah. So, concluding remarks. Hmm? What does it mean to be Italian and the, or European? Hmm? Who gets to be Italian? Both groups of subjects consider that the most important aspect of identity and integration is language. They have different attitudes, but when dealing with dialect, all feel empathy. Uh, my next subject uh, will be the study of dialect structure. Um, but in the concluding remarks, it is said that the choice of the non European migrant to use the dialect, though with different degree of competence, is a market case, probably due to the fact that these people have noticed that their linguistic choice generates a sense of trust. Um, the consequence is a practical advantage for the foreigners. Personal motivations and individual choices play a fundamental role. However, immigrants use contextualization cues to um, influence the impression of the hair. I want to conclude with uh, this small story hmm? uh, that is uh, in a school. There is a teacher. And uh, in the classroom, a teacher as an African student just arrived in Italy and uh, is willing to profit on uh, his presence in the classroom to illustrate uh, to the others interculture. Mm -hmm. So she said, tell us something in African, but the student doesn't. And she thinks, probably because he's shy, she thinks. But teacher tried to say something in European. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's go. I finished. Thank you very much.